coffee is so orgasmic. What is up, you geezer bloke type geezers? It is Chris Marder Games here. Welcome to another video that I'm doing today. <sighs> so I have come to the conclusion that I have got a lot of cleaning up to do. No, I am not talking about my newly acquired log burner. I mean, yes, by looking at it now, it does look a bit dusty. Yes, it does look a bit untidy. And yes, I'm a bit of a lazy ass because I haven't found the time to clean it out. I mean, why am I even talking to you about my log burner when this is a gaming channel? I mean, what the fuck is going on? No, this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. I, this is something I need to do. I need to get a lot of things off my chest. I need to explain to you, to my geezers, my subscribers, from me to, to you, the people that are watching, wherever you're watching it from, from a TV, from a PC, from... I don't know, a, a phone or whatever. Um, I just want to talk to you guys about um, a few things that, that have been on my mind and, you know, what the future holds for my channel. Uh, what what I'm planning to do. What, what's the future? What exactly am I doing right now? So I'm going to explain to you uh, my last video that I did about, about a week ago. About a week ago, week ago, week ago. Yeah, a week ago I did um, uh, Men in Black PS1 and uh, yeah, it was a very different ending. I must say, it was a very different ending from normal. Um, and there are reasons for this and I'm going to explain them to you right now. So the first reason I'm going to state um, as to why the last video was different to normal is because well, I'm developing something within the series itself. I'm developing like a drama, like a storyline. Um, and the reason for doing this is, well, it's kind of complicated, but I'm going to try my best to explain it. Now, out of any sort of video that I do on my channel, the retro games videos are, believe it or not, the easiest videos to make. Because all I have to do is pick a game from my shelf, sit down and play it, record myself, play it, make a video, edit it, upload it to YouTube, and there you go, it's job done. But the fact that these videos are so easy to do is the reason why my channel is infested with retro game videos. And I just wish that I had the ability to try and reduce the number of these retro games videos, because believe it or not, they're dominant and I need to sort of reduce them. So what if, say, for example, I decided to add some kind of storyline to it, you know, that includes my other channel, Chris Modern 9, um, and, you know, sort of like, make things a bit interesting, rather than just watching me play a game. Isn't that, doesn't it get boring after a while? I mean, adding a storyline to the actual series itself would be pretty dramatic, and it would definitely help um, the the uh, the series give it more character for one thing, but also it would require me a lot more time to actually make a video. So rather than just edit the video and then just upload it to YouTube, why not I just have some kind of character to it? So by allowing me this time to make these videos, the videos themselves or the, the series will be reduced significantly so that I could play other games like, I don't know, say these two motherfuckers. I mean, Black Ops 3, for example, I have not played multiplayer at all yet. This has been out, I think this has been out since the beginning of this month. We're in November now, and I've not had a chance to play this online yet. That is how annoyed I am being able to play this game. The only thing I've been able to do with this is play the campaign, zombies, free run, and that's about it. I've not been able to play this online at all and I'm going to explain why right now. So the reason why I've not been able to play Black Ops at all um, is because of the fact that in this cabin in particular, I don't have any internet at the moment. It's, um, I'm finding it very difficult to find um, a way of getting internet in here. Believe it or not, I have been trying, but it's the fact that I just don't have any internet at all that I can't make any videos on Black Ops 3. I mean, I, I really wanna play Black Ops 3 online on my channel, but unfortunately I can't do that yet because, well, I haven't got any internet, have I? So I need to sort that out and I will do, and trust me on this when I say, I will definitely, definitely play some Black Ops 3 online on my YouTube channel. And I really wanna do that. And I even wanna try and do it on Twitch, but yeah, that's for another day. Uh, that's for another video entirely. So the second reason as to why I'm adding more stuff to retro games videos from now is, well, it's, it brings up another question in itself. Now, Chris Marder 9, if you watched my video, Chris Marder 9 does make an appearance. Um, so is Chris Marder 9 actually coming back? That's the main question. And the answer to that question is yes, he is definitely coming back 
and he will be making some more Swedish lessons. The problem is, I haven't got any bloody topics to do. There's no topics for me to do. Um, and I need, I need your help. I need your help to get some topics together so that I can start making these uh, Swedish lessons again. Um, and yeah, it, it really is important because I really need to get my Chris Mon and Iron channel running again. And um, for the sake of being able to run the channel, I also want it to be partnered as well. Um, Chris Mon and Iron isn't actually partnered at the moment, so I can't add any thumbnails, which is really annoying. Um, so right now, Chris Mon and Iron, the, as a channel, um, is not only dead, but in terms of aesthetically pleasing terms, in terms of the fact that it's got no thumbnails or anything to it, it looks pretty crap. So um, I need to get this channel partnered with something so that I'm able to add thumbnails. So if there's any people anywhere out there that might help me out with a network that I can join up with Chris Mon and I, let me know in the comments below and I will see if I can try and get something sorted out. So just to summarize this entire video, um, retro games as a series is going to be seriously reduced because I'm going to be adding a storyline between myself, Chris Modern Games, and with Chris Modern 9 as well. So that's going to be part of the series. And if you haven't figured it out already, Chris Modern 9 is only going to appear in the retro games episodes. He's not going to appear in Chris Plays, he's not going to appear in Don't Dis with DOS, and he's almost certainly not going to appear in the current gen game videos that I end up doing. So it's just the retro games videos only that Chris Modern 9 will be appearing in. And that's the reason why the retro games videos are going to be long and get more time to do because I'll be I'll have to sort of write a storyline and, and stuff like that and, and yeah. <sighs> also I really want to bring you some current gen gaming as well. I need to get this internet sorted out and then once that's done I can start making current gen gaming videos and stuff and I can play online and it's going to be so much better because I'll be able to bring you some online gaming and that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do but because so much is in my way right now. Oh my god, I completely forgot to say my PS4 controller's broken. I completely forgot to mention that in my last take. Yeah, my, my the left analog stick on my PS4 controller, um, it's spazzing out. I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. Like, when I move it around, um, like, the, the character on the screen just sort of spazzes out when I go into a different direction. Well, well a certain direction. But yeah, it, it's a... Comp I don't know what's wrong with it. I think it's been used to death and it's pretty much something's buggered up on the the controller or something like that I don't, I don't know but uh, yeah I'll, I do have alternatives I do have um, I think I've got another controller somewhere I can use for the time being that's not even mine but yeah I will definitely just use that for the time being until my controller gets fixed and then I can start using that again so yeah bit of an obstacle but like I said, it's not a big, it's not a big issue. I mean, internet's the biggest issue, but my controller is an issue, but it's not as big as my internet one. So yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. So retro games is going to be reduced. Chris Mon and I will only appear in the retro games videos. I want to do more current gen gaming, online gaming in the future. Internet needs to be sorted out. Controller's broken. I will get it fixed at some point. I've got someone to. I got someone else's to borrow, so it's not a problem, and that's about it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Chris Mononine, check me out my Google, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitch, and of course my eBay store. Got loads of stuff on sale. Go and check it out. Link will be in the description. Link will be in the description below. Uh, you can also check out my website, which is www.chrismonanine.com. I've not even touched my website at all, so yeah, just have a look and look around and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, make sure you do all of that. I have been Chris Modern Games as per usual, and until the next video, I shall see you later. Hey, all, and peace.